Good afternoon, Long Beach Unified community. It's Friday afternoon, and I'm here with an update and some encouragement for you. I'll start with updates for, for family members, for teachers, and for those of you in the community that are using our resources to help you through this time. Um, a few things that you can know. There's a new community resource guide that's been posted to our COVID-19 webpage on the district website that has useful numbers for everything from food resources to mental health support and several hotlines if you need support in that way. Look for community resources on the COVID-19 webpage. Also, next week, you'll be able to access schools via a special Google phone number that will be posted to each school's school, school loop webpage. That's in addition to the phone number that you can often use to get to the school directly. We're using a special phone number so even staff who are staying safe at home can answer the calls that are coming in from you as our community members. Our staff is continuing to reach out to families and to students who have not been readily accessing, accessing accessing the home learning opportunities and to make sure that every student has contact with somebody at the school site during this difficult time. Lastly, we've been getting ourselves ready to put out more information next week about long-term distance learning opportunities for our students. We're using state information on grading and graduation to finalize those plans with the expectation that next week we'll be out to share many things with you in our community so that after spring break, we'll go into a long-term phase of learning for our students. So my message today is building on something that Dr. Brown shared with students on Wednesday about grief. But I want you to think about grief from the adult experience that you're having. So we often think about grief when someone loses a, a person in their life, but grief actually can come on in many other circumstances when there is a sense of loss or a huge change in someone's life like experiencing a school closure. So I'm going to talk about grief from that perspective today. And especially important for adults is to think about separating their own grief from the grief that they might be seeing in children. So I'm not a grief expert, but I've had many opportunities to come alongside people in my work um, who are experiencing grief and to help them understand the stages of grief and to have hope about exiting the stages of grief. So grief often comes in five stages. It comes in denial, that feeling of this isn't really happening and trying to, to some degree, ignore it. Often it's followed by anger. This isn't right. Who made this decision? This, this shouldn't be happening. Followed often by bargaining. Can't we just do this certain thing while this is happening or trying to negotiate this away? And sometimes comes depression, a feeling of hopelessness and not being able to make a difference given the circumstances. The last stage is typically referred to as acceptance. I'm going to make the best of this or I found a new way to deal with this in this stage of acceptance. Some of the experts tell us that to live and especially to love means that you'll experience grief in some way. So going through a school closure for families and for students is definitely a time that you can be experiencing grief in those stages. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, or acceptance. And again, they don't always go in that order. Sometimes you'll go in and out of those stages until you reach a place of acceptance. So I want you to really pay attention as adults, pay attention to your own self in those stages of grief, especially in these transition time now that you know that schools will not reopen their school buildings for the rest of the year, and really think about where you are in the stages of grief while you're also obser observing the young people around you who might be experiencing the same stages. What I have learned over time is that children go through the stages of grief very differently than adults. And so that separation between what you're experiencing and what you see children experiencing may look very different, and that's normal. I also want you to think about just not mixing in your stages of grief with what you're sharing with students. While it's good to have a lot of open dialogue and be talking about what you're experiencing, what we don't want is that your own stages of bargaining and depression 
go to students. So use the resources that you have. There are resources on our, on our district website in the community resources guide. There are many hotlines, but I'll encourage you to do a few things. Stay connected to other adults and have an outlet for how you talk about where you are in the grief cycle. As I said, use a hotline, use a resource. If you really need help, it is time to ask for help. Also, as I've shared in previous messages, it's time to be gentle with yourself and really manage the expectations that you're putting on yourself, especially if you're um, having stu multiple students in your home trying to do school. This is not like doing classroom school in your home. This is a very different experience and we also want you to manage the expectations that you have for yourself and others. So today's message is Think about where you are in the stages of grief. Let yourself move through those stages. It's completely normal. Pay attention to the difference between what you're experiencing and what your students are experiencing, and use the resources that are around you to support yourself. I'm gonna close with a quote of someone who I love, Maya Angelou. She says, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And so in this time, be focused on how you feel and how the interactions that you're having with others are helping them to feel better. You can expect next week we'll be back with lots of information about home learning after the spring break with updates on things coming from our district office and resources that you can use as you continue to support your family in your home. We wish you a quiet weekend and we thank you for staying connected and in community with us.